Hi, welcome. Good morning. Today I am with children's author Maiku Tao. <laughs> and we're here to know everything about her, everything that you wanted to know about her, the whole process of her writing her books, even reading her book as well, too. I'm really <laughs> excited. Thank you for coming. Yeah, this is, yeah, I've been looking forward to it. I've so. seen you on social media, and you are just doing such a great job pushing your content out there, the books. Uh, I haven't seen anything of this kind of quality, so mm. I'm just, I'm really ah, proud of you. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, that means a lot. How long have you even started? Doing this. For Hmong Baby, we have been going for about a year and almost a year and a half now. I wrote my first book, Washi Washi, last, I think it was around like September. So yeah, and then this book actually, I pre-launched it in, I believe it was March. And on Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, will be the first time that it, it will be available on my website. So still awesome. pretty new, yeah. Um, okay, so actually, if you can walk us through how did your books come to be and mm -hmm. you being an author come to be, if you can give us like a, a snapshot of yeah. the detail of the beginning. Yeah, it's funny. I never imagined that I would be an author or like a children's author specifically. Um, but when I had my daughter, I, I wanted to teach her the Hmong language and I knew that, you know, one of the best ways is obviously to have books because kids learn so much through reading books because they want to read the same book over and over and over and over <laughs> again. And so um, I started off with flashcards because at the time my daughter really liked flashcards and she just loved like looking at images of animals. Um, so that's why I started off with flashcards. But then as she got older, like she's turning three soon, um, she just loves books. And so I was like, I just knew, I was like, this is what I need to do. But it was intimidating because, you know, for flashcards, it's not as complicated like you can go through almost any printing company and they could just you know get thicker paper and like do it but for books um, the process like it was this long process of doing research we actually had a publishing company contact us to see if we wanted to write a book through them really? and yeah and they would help us like market it and stuff but um, my husband and I, he's the, you know, so we are both doing Mung Baby together. Um, we decided that, like, we knew our audience better and we actually would be able to create the product faster or the book faster. And so we decided to self publish it. And so that meant we had to do a ton of research on that whole process because we wanted to go with a company overseas versus in the states just you know like thinking about quality the quality of the books overseas were actually a lot better than the ones that we found here in the states really? and also the price was just like you know so much better as well i started last year i was just like we need to write books and so i was just sitting there i was like okay i think i want something that'll actually pair really well with our flashcards so that they can go work hand in hand mm -hmm. and so i was like thinking of stories and i just like wrote yeah, I just wrote the story of Oshi Oshi. Then we did all the research and we tried it, got samples from China of the book, and we just, yeah, launched it. <laughs> wow. I think uh, uh, we always see the end product. Yes. And you never know all the took oh to gosh. get to that point. It's a lot of work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, how does actually making the book start? Do you do you have it in your head? Do you write it down? Do you draw it by hand? I do not do any of the illustrations, and I'm not like, yeah, I am not like good at drawing <laughs> uh, at all. And so I, I got connected with my um, illustrator, graphic designer, because she's a good friend of my sister's, and she does amazing work. Her name is Stephanie Ritter. Um, yeah, she is like. Yeah, she's a godsend. Absolutely love that girl. Um, but she does all of my illustrations, except for like the animals. I actually connected with a woman from Australia to do the animals themselves. But then Stephanie did like, you know, uh, Thu from Oshi Oshi. And then she mm -hmm. did all of the, yeah, she like worked with it. It was, it was amazing. So you personally know her. You didn't get her from 99designs or Fiverr.com. No, no, but um, the first one, I actually, so my first uh, graphic designer, I got her through Fiverr. Mm -hmm. um, oh, no, it was Upwork, actually, Upwork. I, her, I hired her as a freelance artist through Upwork. Um, and Upwork is, like, a great place to hire people, kind of as um, freelancers. Um, but she, she did 
just the animals and then Stephanie I was able to like actually meet her and I got to see like what she hoped to do like I just like connecting with people on a personal level and so I loved her and so we've just been working together and she's been absolutely amazing so and she's here in Minnesota yes she is local here in Minnesota wow so, yeah so like you were saying okay so your question um it just starts with an idea like first of all it's just like I want to write a book you know, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of fear about that um, because there's a lot of unknowns. But yeah, like I just was like, I, I want to write a book. And so I just need to make it happen. And so I just started thinking about like one idea that I wanted to share, right? One thing that I wanted to teach or to share through the book. And so I started writing kind of a story based on that one idea. And that's how it started. So who actually uh, manufactures the book? Um, so my husband deals with all of that. So I actually don't have a name <laughs> of it, but um, I can actually give you, yeah, I can give you more info. Um, so a lot of people have been asking us about how to write books and how to go about publishing a book mm -hmm. because it's, I think now we are, people are starting to recognize like going through a publishing company might not be the best mm -hmm. route for me because like for example for me I decided not to go with um, this publishing company because I knew my audience better right like they had no idea where the Hmong people were like I knew where they were I was already connected with them and I knew how to market to them um, and secondly like I wanted to be able to do this in a really quick time frame and mm. they I asked them right like how long would it take for you guys to get the book done and they were saying nine months to a year mm. and I was like what <laughs> That's like a long time I want this done in like three months and we were able to do it within like a three month time frame right um, and so and then also the other thing is like they get a huge cut of the mm. profit um, you know I think I, I haven't done a ton of research on this but I think what people or publishing companies do is they give you like um, you know like a certain amount of money like up front and then after that you know they will keep uh, you know, you'll get a small percentage and they will keep the rest of the profits. And so, you know, if, if that's the route you want to go, like that's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that, but it is harder to get published through a publishing company. You have to have like connections. You have to, I think like pitch it well to them and stuff. So I think now people are just realizing like I can create my own books. Like there's create space where you can really just like, like make a book really quickly. Um, and people can get it. You, you do it all digitally, you know, and Amazon will just print it for you um, when people order it. And so a lot of people have been contacting us about how to write books. And I think it's great that, you know, especially there's a lot more Hmong people who are contacting me wanting to write more children's books or just books in general for the Hmong audience. Um, and we need more of that. So my husband and I have been thinking about, you know, how can we actually help people with this? Because like we've done all this research and we have gone through the whole process and it's kind of a convoluted process but we want to do more than just be like oh hey like you know this is what you do because it's not that simple so I think the best thing was for us to actually come out with like like what we're hoping to do is like actually create an online course to teach people like the step-by-step -step exactly this is how you self-publish